folks, welcome to another new new show plus. Today, I'm here to pitch Hitman. And it's something I was frankly born to do. Kelsey Lewin is joining us. What's your experience with the series, Kelsey? Uh, I sell the video game in my video game store sometimes, and go. I've watched some gameplay of Hitman 3, and that's that's, and I've heard you talk about it on the MinMax show, but that's about it. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Sarah Podzorski, how about you? Um, I've played a little bit of Hitman 3. Okay. That's it. Just a dabbling. Great. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'm here to present on some things I love about it. Uh, I was so inspired by your Final Fantasy XIV presentation yes. last week, Sarah. The, mm -hmm. the PowerPoint, uh, it was above and beyond. <laughs> and it's a hard act yeah. to follow, and we'll see how it goes. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, interject, maybe like five seconds after you think of them. Just so you can really My make sure they're really is, good um, questions. Can you please reiterate to everyone what your PhD is in? Oh, I, it's, I'm a pretty hot dude. Certified. Certified. Mm -hmm. Le all right, let's begin. Reason number one. It is just one game now. That used to be so what? confusing. People would say, oh, well, what's the best way to play Hitman? Hitman 1's on sale. And then you'd have to say, well, you get the Hitman 3 starter pack for free. And then you load Hitman 1 into it. It was a huge barrier to entry for people. But coming in the freelancer update in on January 26th, just over a week, they're take they're delisting Hitman 1 and 2 and it's all going to be one purchase. And you got all 3 and 1. That's insane. What I a deal. Is this, is this every This isn't every game, is it? Just the new trilogy. They're oh, okay. calling it Hitman right. World of Assassination. So okay. Hitman 1? So, wow. Plus Hitman 2, plus Hitman 3. It's like a theme park. What's that equal? Say it with me. Hitman 6. Hitman 6. That's, oh, I'm, I was never good at math. Well, trust me on it. <laughs> That's six Hitmans in one. Hitman 6. Oh, I thank you so much for taking notes. I think if this presentation is so good, Kelsey should get rid of all the games in her store and only sell Hitman. You know what? I, yeah, I'll entertain that. Yeah. Is that fair? Great. You're gonna have to help me like source more copies of Hitman. I think um, right now I don't think we have like enough for a full store, but uh, yeah, let's let's do it. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm gonna turn Ave Maria down just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it getting to you in the background? It's swelling. It's swelling a bit, and I <laughs> should have anticipated that. Number two. Okay. A true sandbox. Lots of games, pictured here is Far Cry. They say, it's a sandbox. You can play your way. It's a bunch of toys to play around in the sandbox. And what does that amount to? Y you get to drive a car into a guy. Mm. You get to put a bomb on a car and drive it into a guy and blow it up. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. get to drive a car off a cliff and hit a guy and blow yeah. them all up. You know, it's been done. A true sandbox mm -hmm. has invigorating toys, like the one pictured in the lower right. Those kids are having so much fun. Those kids are having an absolute blast. Like you would With be. What I assume is assassination. Yes. <laughs> well, and it's free delivery. Free delivery of fun to your mind. Mm. Yeah, write that down. Delivery write that down. Delivery of fun. Oh, I should be taking notes. I got this. <laughs> okay, I gotta catch up, but yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay, thank you. Uh, here's a couple examples of toys in the sandbox. A blueberry muffin. Mm. Now, may seem useless at first. You throw it at somebody and it doesn't even knock them out. But... It doesn't? No, it just knocks them over, but they get back up. However, <laughs> if somebody's, say, standing How on the... How hard are you throwing that muffin? Pretty hard. I feel like even if I was just, like, absolutely creamed in the face with a blueberry muffin, it would not knock me over. And I'm <laughs> not a strong woman. Okay, well, watch That's out next time claim. you see Leo, because I'd get a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and I okay, will have to do it by surprise. extreme yeah. strength. Yes. Got it. We'll see how hard Hitman <laughs> throws things uh, in the gameplay <laughs> portion of the stream. But if somebody is, say, standing on a dock on a pier, and you hit him with a, with a muffin, it'll knock them over, and they'll fall into the water and drown. 
And that's so much faster, safer, less suspicious than knocking them out and dragging them into the water. So it becomes an interesting Absolutely. toy in the sandbox in that sense. Not to mention levels where you can put a muffin on a tray and people come up and can't resist eating it. A multi-purpose muffin. Got it. Exactly. Everything here is multi-purpose. That's the beauty of it. Mm -mm. The banana we'll get to in a minute. Uh, the <laughs> remote emetic mine here is one of the gas items that makes people have to go to the bathroom. So you can detonate what? that near somebody and what? it'll make a little cloud of green gas. Mm. If you all want examples of this, I'm like, happy to provide them in the gameplay portion. In fact, I could hop in right now. Why don't I just hop in and show you? Because what I want to show you... <laughs> they all have to go to the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does the muffin make them have to go to the bathroom eventually? Uh, off screen. Eventually, okay. after okay. you leave the level. Mm -mm. So there's briefcases here. Other kind of toys in the toy box. You can conceal mm. just about any item in the briefcases. Can you put muffins in the briefcase? Yes, you can. Oh, awesome. So what I, I'd love to show this little combination of items here. Mm -mm. And just how strong it is. Can I ask a question? Absolutely, you can. Why can no one swim in the world of Hitman? No. It's, it's, they, they I never knew that. drown immediately. <laughs> the bird is outraged. <laughs> huh. They drown immediately. They don't even, they, they seem to attempt to breathe the water. That's how bad they are at swimming. <laughs> Do they call for help, or do they just kind of accept that they're drowning now? They accept it. They make their peace okay. pretty quick. <laughs> so wow. muffins, Where I believe, are under the bed? melee tab, of course. Yes. And is it only blueberry? It is only one flavor at this point, mm. yes. But it is a live game. They are adding content. I wonder if blueberries add to the, you know, the heft of the muffin. Yeah, I mean, you huh. know what? I said that a muffin would not knock me over, but like I am picturing a chocolate chip muffin when I'm thinking about that. So right. maybe that changes things. Versus blueberries, mm. nature's bullet. <laughs> blueberries? Yes. Nature's bullet. Yes, write that down. I've got a lot of notes on muffins right now. <laughs> Good. Good. They will, that will come back. Uh, I shouldn't have picked one where... of the biggest levels. To do this quick now we gotta load example. the entire look at all that water in a world where no one can swim shouldn't this be terrifying <laughs> yeah why yes, is it should this newspaper be. blurry <laughs> the settings are cranked okay. down a little bit for the sake of uh, <laughs> the double streaming <laughs> so i uh i have this briefcase i loaded in with i can retrieve the blueberry muffins from oh, it oh, there it is oh being that guy with some muffins oh, and it, sh and oh it shatters God. It shatters on It impact. shatters into Stop. particles. Stop hitting him with muffins. <laughs> <laughs> it is, is a, I should warn you. It's a it's a brutal game. I should warn you of that. <laughs> Did you just kill that man with like four muffins and then your fist? Uh he's just unconscious. <laughs> don't, okay, okay. Don't worry Imagine about it. Imagine waking him. up covered in blueberry <laughs> muffin crumbs like surrounding you. Yeah, you'd put together what happened. I ate a bunch of muffins. <laughs> So you look like you're ready for business there. I certainly am. I'm concealing this emetic gas device, which again, I can detonate mm. and it'll cause a little fart cloud that makes people have to go to the bathroom. Horrifying. And what now this, like, it's a hostile item. Is this a thing in real life? <laughs> I don't think so. Did you call it a hostile item? Yes, I can't just put it on the ground detonated in front of somebody. It's illegal. Because people, people will be like, this this, uh, this this device that makes me go potty is illegal. Exactly, but people you found- You can't control my bowels. <laughs> yeah, I go to the bathroom okay. on my time. That's what people yeah. want. How, do, how are you gonna conceal it? I just put it in that briefcase. And now? <gasps> I, that's fine. <laughs> the fart Why does it not make you have to go to the bathroom? Oh, oh they're holding their tummy. Presumably 47, our main character, has uh, built up a tolerance That guy's to it. just gonna kill himself. He's like, my tummy Ooh. really hurts. I wish I still had a oh. muffin. I could show you. I could knock him into um, the water safely. Into his own barf. And There's like, hot right dogs over there. The do hot dogs? Stand, too. Do those function the same way? Can you throw a hot dog at someone and get them into the water? You cannot pick up hot dogs, unfortunately. 
There's so many rules in this game. There are. There's a lot to learn. Let's try this. There's so many rules and at the same time, no rules. Oh, oh no! Oh, lucky! Lucky guy! <laughs> <laughs> How is nobody, oh. like, coming over to, to see what's going on? They're that about to. into a trash can. They're about to. Things are bad here. Things are bad. <laughs> so I, in VR, can you also like, can you throw muffins at people in VR too then? You certainly can. Incredible. And you don't need to mime throwing it, but no one stops you. <laughs> so that Did you was- you know that humans are like one of the best creatures for throwing things? Like our entire bodies are made to throw. Focus. We should be throwing more things is what I'm saying. Interesting. Evolutionarily. That seems mm -hmm. to have come in handy. Evolutionary, we are made to throw muffins. And that should should be on this PowerPoint. <laughs> so that was the medic, gas, and briefcase combo. Other items mm -hmm. pictured here, there's this dart gun that blinds people for a few seconds. So you can shoot it at them and then run past. Gun. Yeah, it's like, it's from a themed DLC where you're being talked to by like the seven deadly sins. And this one is mm -hmm. envy, I want to say. Does that track with a snake on a dart gun? Wow, such a such a fantastical theme. <laughs> yeah, it definitely It's lovely. Yeah. There's some weird wild stuff in there. Right here we have uh sedative pills, which you can use mm. to put in someone's drink to make them pass out right away, or you can put it in a like a ventilation system to make a whole room of people fall asleep. Again, we're talking about these multiple uses. This here is and the- And you just have tolerance to all of these things, right? So like, there's no danger of you hurting yourself with any of these items. Um, there's some danger. For some reason, fart gas is not. Cause I guess they couldn't make you <laughs> put a timer on screen where you have to go to the bathroom. That actually sounds sick now that we talk about it. But sedative <laughs> poison, like if there's an explosion of sedative poison that can incapacitate you. Or this here, this concussive duck, if you detonate it too close to you, it'll knock you out. But yeah, this concussive duck, remotely activated. There's a lot of remote duck explosives. Mm. You can detonate it to just knock out one person or a group of people, or you can detonate it to open a door, or you can toss it at a chandelier and detonate it to knock the chandelier down. And it's like, not illegal. That's the thing about the ducks is they're cute. <laughs> people like them. You don't get in trouble for just tossing a duck around. It's cute, so it's not illegal. Okay, I'll write that down. Yes, yes. Cute, Cute things are not illegal. Not illegal. <laughs> that's that's just one of the ways Hitman imagines not a more illegal. beautiful world. Mm -hmm. Oh, number three, <laughs> banana. I love the click to add text. <laughs> banana deserves its own slide. I realized as I made the wow. last slide because I think it really sums up some of the depth of the game. Because talking about these multiple uses, for the banana, you've got the classic. It's harder than a muffin, so you can hit somebody with it and it does knock them out. Or you can throw it at them and it knocks them out. Or you can toss it, use it as a lure. People will hear the banana, come and check it out, inspect the banana. But most interestingly, you can place it on the ground and it becomes a banana peel that people will slip on. What are you Do you have to eat the banana before it becomes a banana peel? Um, no, no. You seem to put that banana Where to waste, banana which is a, is a downside. It just kind of disappears. I'll, I'll show you, actually. I wasn't thinking of showing you this, All right. but I absolutely should. Bananas sure disappear. Bananas disappear. Bananas are fleeting. There are so many tools. There are so many before. tools. So many tools. You just, unlimited. Almost unlimited. Yeah. And what's fun is it's you unlock like a them. Sandbox. Oh, Kelsey, I love the way you just phrased that. It is so much like a sandbox. Thank uh, you. It's fun because you're unlocking these items at the rate you're playing and just kind of learning about different ways to play as you go through. It's not like you enter the game and you have a million items and you don't know what they do and you're overwhelmed. It's like this stuff has come over very, somehow very gradually over the course of like hundreds of hours. Golden maple trees and what a lovely community that you are about to terrorize with bananas. Just one poor woman. I like that he holds it like a gun. Like that's <laughs> not how I would walk around holding a banana. Like if someone <laughs> handed me a banana, that's not immediately how I would carry it. Uh huh. He manages to be menacing with a banana. But 
these locations <laughs> clues to help you obtain the information. So also, I love his coat. Thank what you. A nice fall coat. He looks lovely. I worked yeah. hard unlocking that. It's beautiful. So we got this jogger. I chose this level because there's this jogger with a reliable route. I'm gonna place this banana. Becomes a oh. banana peel. And hit it in the leaves too. Oh no. Perfectly obscured. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, concussion! <laughs> it got her. It got her. She, Silent she takedown. Oh my god. Accepted her fate. She <laughs> lives on head the ground injury. now. Right next to the trash too. <laughs> now here's what's really notable about the banana peel f fall. There's another one? This lady just saw it happen, and she's coming to investigate. But I want to introduce you now the green guns in the lower left. That's a little indicator to show you whether you still have Silent Assassin or not. Excuse me. Which is one of the hardest ratings to get on a level. It involves no crimes ever being spotted, you never being spotted in a restricted area, you not um, knocking somebody out and having their body be found. As you can see, this person's body is absolutely being found. But yeah. the beauty of the banana is that it is an accident knockdown. So same with regular so silent assassin. nobody would say like someone put this here. No. no be like clearly not even if you're so much more time. Not, not even if you're like crouching suspiciously behind a car while watching this. <laughs> well, if you are really <laughs> close to a crime or like an explosion just happened or something, people will put that together. But crouching behind a car this far away, I'm totally uh Crouching behind a car isn't suspicious. illegal. Kelsey. Huh? I mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like seeing a body on the ground and crouching behind a car while just kind of peeking at the body on the ground is... <laughs> Maybe it's my I might car not and I'm working be on it. Like, <laughs> I might not immediately be like, okay, that person did that, but like, that's probably a person we should look out for because they're up to no good. Most likely. Most likely, yes. Um, but on Silent Assassin, that is the perk is that if you take somebody out with an accident, Poison them, drop a chandelier on them, blow up the car they're driving. <laughs> Accidents. Uh, you don't get in trouble. You don't break silent assassin because there's an explanation for the death. And the banana works the same way, but in a non-lethal capacity. So sometimes it's really useful to let, to have a body out in the open, to not have to put it away first off for speed, or to have it so it can be found and maybe distract a guard. There's all kinds of uses for it that way. Incredible. What a what a great like all these like tools, all these food tools are so multi-purpose. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. A lot of good foods in this game. Yeah. There's a fish also. There's a meaty bone that you can throw in a hippo reservoir to draw the hippo out. Oh but I, it's terrifying. I yes. Number four, very many game modes. Very many game modes. So many. <laughs> so many. You have the classic campaign, of course, the biggest, richest levels. You could play the campaign in VR. You've got elusive targets, time limited content with exclusive rewards. You try it and if you try it and kill them and get killed on your way out, you are banned from playing it again until they rerun it like a year later. So it actually has really interesting stakes. There's contracts. Is that where you got your cool coat from? It might have been. The, it's like I mean, is that the kind of like cool reward that you get from that? It's yes, like, they're mostly cool. I pretty much all suits and exclusive based on mm -hmm. like doing a certain amount or doing a certain amount with the silent assassin rating, and you do get some of the coolest suits and long coats that way. Arcade mode is a way to play elusive targets without them having to run them. It's like a package of three with a special complication with unique rewards but you can keep trying them. If you fail, you have to wait 12 hours before doing them again. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Less it's stakes, like but still some stakes. It's mobile game mechanics in it, but in a way that, like, We've got some I don't know, is, is interesting. That is an interesting comparison. Yeah, I think there's so much other content, of course, that it's not too... doesn't make you feel pressured to buy another copy of the game or anything. Us. But, but you should, right? But, but just it's to always... support the devs. Yeah, absolutely. From Pink Gorilla, the store that exclusively sells Hitman. <laughs> exactly. I think we're on track for that, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sniper Assassin is a game mode that has its own maps where you're just sitting a mile away from the map, looking down a sniper scope and doing the same kind of Hitman gameplay of doing distraction shots, knocking things over onto people, 
uh, kind of learning the weird little intricacies of the map, shooting a little box that raises a flag that makes the guys have a meeting. That's a totally unique game mode. Contracts is the player created stuff, which anybody can make a contract and upload it and anybody can play anybody's on the same platform. Unfortunately, no cross play, except they do featured contracts where they pick all in a theme. They did one that was like fairy tale themed and people would find, there's one on Marrakesh where people found characters named Hans, Christian, and Anderson, like their first or last oh. names. And you just have to kill these three people on opposite sides of the map. So that's have like more curated. Have you ever had a featured contract, Leo? Have you made one? Have you been featured? That's, yes. Let's go find that right now. What? Really? <laughs> this was... We were like in the presence of a Hitman celebrity. <laughs> it was you basically a... made the game. That's so cool. It is truly such an honor to have my name in this game somewhere. Um, That's so cool. It's from MinMax featured contracts. When Hitman 3 first launched, they went to a bunch of outlets and had them all do. That's so cool. I, ours is good, right? It's it's a good one, right? Ours is good. We you, worked you really hard on proud, them. Right? It's, nice. the it's the community. The best one, right? Easily the best. I was I was okay, honestly cool. spending some time around launch people reading. Oh, and like, they have our logos too. Mocking other ones. Yes, Minmax right here. <laughs> mocking other ones. <laughs> people were talking about other ones as low effort and stuff, and I was like, ours were definitely not low effort. We found thematic <laughs> stuff. We found fun stuff to do. So oh, each of them. Oh, we even have a little. Oh, that's so cool. And the idea is that uh, they've all. Uh, everybody who works at Minmax has gotten. Uh, aliases as they slipped into their life of crime a cabal of international camaraderie yeah we wrote the descriptions with the with the discord community we split up who like actually ran the contracts and submitted them which is really fun this one was kyle so hilliard are, because of the hair okay i was gonna ask are the targets meant to be the mid max like cohorts they are meant to be the mid max cohorts here we've got uh, Matt Helgeson and Jason Daphnis of Crossfade, which is, of course, this one's called Crossblade. Mm. And you have to kill them with a sword. This is the oh. one I'm in. YouTube darling Leo Vader. It truly <laughs> is a treat to have my name in this game, technically. <laughs> I was the guard that was sleeping. Mm. But yeah, any Hitman fans, if you haven't come back and played those, I should I should honestly rerun them. You can see here I never ran them myself. There's a little check mark what? that you have. I, I mean oh, so I ran them a bunch of designing them. Yeah, <laughs> but you probably haven't run them since. Right. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, the puns on them are really good. The the wordplay. Thank you. Yes. Very, we, very, very good. We worked hard on that, yeah. Uh, the other modes, of course, you've got escalations where you start out simple and you do another layer and it adds a new target or it makes you kill the target in a harder way or adds a new complication like you can't be seen, all the bodies have to be hidden, stuff like that. And there's bonus missions, which are spins on the campaign missions, totally side stuff within the same stuff. So in summation, very many game modes. Number five, mm. baby's first speedrunning game. It's terrifying how the skull lines up with that baby. <laughs> I worked it's terrifying. Hard. And the shoulders do. I worked quite hard on that <laughs> here in Google Slides. A lot of allusions to child assassins in this. With interesting. The sandbox children, and now the baby with a gun. I didn't make that connection, but thank interesting. you. Interesting, interesting, Leo. For finding that motif. Uh, I am. I like when a game gets me into the speed running of it. When it seems like accessible to approach that versus you know, speed runs of games where you have to know all the glitches and run the whole game or whatever. But this is like really contained small missions to try and do fast runs in. And I want to show one of my favorite little speed runs I've been working on. So is it a speed run based on like game or just like a like contracts or like the game levels or? I like to do at this point, I only recently started doing this like a month or two ago. And I've only been doing like featured contracts because not as many people play them. So it's easier to kind of rise on the leaderboards, which there are. Okay, let's check that leaderboard. And then that Where makes you feel better Where about yourself. Oh, I feel so good about inspires myself. Inspires you. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Yes, I'm at 150 on this one right now. I'll show you my run for it. We'll see if I can beat my time. We gotta get we gotta get higher. Yes, the thing about the leaderboards is that uh, all of the top scores are gonna be Silent Assassin. That mm -hmm. really hard rating we're striving for because uh, 
it gets you the most points, you automatically like lose points beyond what would put you in the top if you aren't doing Silent Assassin. Interesting. Now, what did I use here? Is this something where like the more, do you automatically get access to all like the items when you're doing a, like a featured contract? Or no. Or like, if you have unlocked most. So like, it like, to, you kind of get a, like a, an advantage for having unlocked all this stuff. You do. But also, it's it's kind of just an advantage in the way that a good like roguelike is where you just have new options. Mm -hmm. I bet somebody has a faster run for this with fewer items than I have. You know, it's just, it becomes, you can be a little more clever with it. You have more options available to you. Someone's figured out like the optimum muffin to banana ratio to bring with mm. you on, on missions. Exactly. Okay, I'm already burning time. It's going horrifically <laughs> I've already bad. already started running in a circle. <laughs> I don't even know. The, oh, there isn't a door here. What we need to do, Leo, is we need to get you in the top five, and then we need to submit this for SGDQ, and you've got to run it for mid-max. <laughs> this contract. Goals. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a using a submachine gun to open a door. Which a lot of people don't think to do. It's a little hidden mechanic almost. Using a powerful gun to get through the door. I would never assume to open a door with a gun. No. Few people would. This is risky and foolish, but that's kind of my <laughs> whole vibe. This is risky and foolish. So now what I'm going to do here... This is a run where you have to kill them with explosive... Uh, devices, but also doing that silent assassin, because everybody runs and investigates an explosion, obviously. Mm. And you're putting it right next to the toilet? Are they going That's to right. die on the toilet, Leo? What I've done what is I shot him with the poop dart, and so he's getting sick, oh, and no. he's going to come vomit near the toilet. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh. Staying posted that's up right where I strategy. want. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. I A lot <laughs> of people do look up strats, and nothing wrong with that, doing the meta, but... It's so fun and satisfying and rewarding to come up with your own stuff, I think. I feel like the joy of this game would definitely be in the, like, finding an interesting way to mm -hmm. get rid of someone. Absolutely. That's how it is for me. Um, Which I already feel like, you know, muffin off of a dock into the water and drown them is, is pretty good. It's pretty up It's there. a good like, start. I don't think I would have come up with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is... It is so satisfying to still be learning new things about this game every time I play it. It's really crazy. So I'm, it's not illegal for me to be here. I just, it was tough to get here and that's why I, I did all say, that shortcut stuff. I was gonna say, how come stuff. that man isn't suspicious that you jumped off the roof? <laughs> that's just, I'm working on the house. I'm a fumigator. So now <laughs> I've lost Silent Assassin because a guy saw the body and one of the targets. But since he was a target, when I kill him, I should get Silent Assassin back because there's no living witnesses. But I'm going to have to detonate both these bombs right at the exit. Will he tell other people if you give him enough time? I mean, definitely. He can't if he's dead. Or he'll okay. shoot at me. Okay, we got Silent Assassin back. And I detonated them all. Now they're cool. going to come investigate quickly, but I have to leave the level quicker. This is why I don't like covered bridges. Only like murderers walk on covered bridges. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great option for murderers. I'm always saying that. It's, they're so creepy. <laughs> wow. So we got it. Not my best time, but I'm I'm glad I have a, like a reliable what's way your, to get such a hard PB? rank. Let's see my PB, let's see my PB. Two twelve. Ooh. All right, yeah. What's the top one? What, what is the top one? Yeah, what's number one? 27? What? I don't know if I believe. What? 27 okay. seconds? Do you want to know the real most fun thing to do? Is to, after you craft your own run and do your personal best on it, is to look up on YouTube what other people are doing. This one's called I the Naughty's Termination. 27 seconds. I know. That's like, you basically have to run in. It would take me 27 seconds to find someone. <laughs> right. Looks like this is a 44 second one. Let's see what they did for that. This is what has made this speedrunning feature contract so fun is like 
learning a lot, trying to do it, and then looking up what other people are doing and learning even more. Mm. Having your mind blown by what they're doing. And maybe this person's strat is stupid and we can make fun of it too. <laughs> I hope it's not just like he just runs in and guns everyone. Oh, yeah, sometimes timer. people can do that like smartly in just the right way where nobody notices. So this person went for the chloroform. Hmm. Oh, because, he's going to put it in the house? Yeah, since the house is, like, about to be fumigated, that's something oh. the fumigator could do. And since this outfit has a gas mask on, you don't get oh sedated by going in here. Do you not lose points by, like, Why is that unrelated person still people dying? You do, but these people are just being knocked out. Yeah. Oh, so you're just walking around, like, or this guy is just walking around, like, stabbing him or whatever, and making sure that the correct people are dead. Yes, just dropping explosives on the people who need to die, but knocking out the whole house. <laughs> and so I tried to do Excellent. that, but somebody walks in the house and sees everything going on, and you get in a lot of trouble mm. for that. But this person managed to do it so fast, in under 44 seconds, that the person never arrived at the house. So, so they managed to make that person will arrive work. and catch them if you don't, like, leave the level fast enough. So you're really yes. just kind of, like leaving reality before it can catch up with you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, if, if you're not on the scene of the crime, you were never there, essentially. Apparently. Even if you were there, they're like, I don't know, that guy doesn't exist anymore. Everybody in this house is asleep and three of them are blown up. It seems like mm -hmm. there was a horrible accident. I feel like this is just like adding to my like irrational fear of things. So now I'm afraid of fumigation tents. Like, <laughs> you should it be. Just, it feels... <laughs> <laughs> Snakeo says it was the bald fumigator with a mask on. You'll never mm. put that together. If you're in this world, you'd never put that together. So that's just one example of the the joy of speedrunning it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Number six, visit pretty places. Wow. Oh, beautiful. A lot of water. Once again, a lot of water for a society that can't swim. <laughs> that's uh, a really good point. That, that like interesting choice. This this one, Haven Island, in fact, is only accessible by water. So, that was so a do risk. Swimming people pools live not on exist. the edge. Do swimming pools not exist in the world of Hitman? Uh, there's swimming pools here on Haven Island, but they're not uh, deep enough. So people kind of stand and wade in them. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. They've found okay. a way around it. Yeah, just having a short enough body But like, of water. I would still drown because I'm not very tall, so I'd like I'd still drown. Yeah, it, it, it's right. a short person killer for sure. And if you okay. trip, it's a scourge. If you trip and your head falls beneath water for a nanosecond, it's game over. We've got here Dubai, Wait, the first Hitman, mission. Can Hitman himself swim? No. <laughs> oh, okay. At least it's fair. <laughs> it is fair, yes. But he also That's can't name, find right? a way into deep water. Yes, I call him Hitman, certainly. <laughs> Catch you at an Agent 47. Can, can the Hitman swim? <laughs> Sapienza, of course, a classic down here in Alzheimer, the club scene in Berlin, mm -hmm. remote village of Santa Fortuna, uh, the the raceway in Miami, which I never like thought I wanted to go to a NASCAR race or whatever, but it's it makes me want to go. It's so well realized with all the food stands and people and stuff. These are just great places to spend time. And mm -hmm. I'll get more into this in a moment, but Hitman has such a reputation for being hard, I think. It's like intimidating. To outsiders because it's all about setting up the perfect kill doing things just right but i really think there's something to the magic of being able to walk into a the raceway on miami and you're not in trouble you're just a guy who's there to see the race you can walk anywhere that a person is allowed to go mm -hmm. you know until you commit a crime until you're you commit a, a guy crime. yes or until you walk into an employee's only section <laughs> in which case you will be gunned it down or escorted out. <laughs> Number seven, oh. this clip. Speaking of Miami, this is a clip that was recently posted of a new way to kill a classic target. The racer on Miami, Sierra Knox. So this person is going to place a little vial of a s special like booster that you're using in that level to like make a car go faster. It's this experimental new booster that happens to be explosive. So you mm. throw this little vial and it'll cause a localized explosion where you throw it. 
Or, as this person does, they place it on this stool and sabotage Sierra Knox's car so that she has to end the race and she comes in and she's frustrated. So she kicks this little stool. That's something she does when she comes in. And it knocks the explosive <laughs> off, which the force of it hitting the ground blows up everyone in the room. Next up, Robert and they're like, oh my god, I can't believe that. And are you still considered a silent assassin when I, somebody literally kicks an explosive placed on a stool? I think because other people die, you're not. Oh. But I would oh love if that was considered because that does look like a horrific accident. Somebody left the booster in the wrong place. But that's something the developers themselves never would have considered happening. But it's just the magic of having things interact systemically. I do like that all the NPCs have like really good like pathing and like they're not just like walking around, they're like interacting with stuff. Yes, totally. They do have interesting routes. And I like that, I mean, yeah, you, you did something to her, so now she's mad about it, so she kicks a stool. Like, it all makes sense It's to all me. about like it. the consequences of the actions that you've set up. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Number eight, again on the difficulty. It, it suits your interest level, I think. If you want to do your silent assassin suit onlys, the hardest challenges in the game, getting through the whole level, never changing disguises, killing people in ways that never get found or are accidents... You can do that, but you can also do it in a way where you're following these mission stories that guide you pretty clearly. Here's how, where this tattoo artist is on Santa Fortuna. Here He's drinking something you can poison and then knock him out and get his outfit or whatever because the main one of the targets is expecting a tattoo appointment. So then you get to enter this like restricted compound, get frisked on your way in and be totally accepted there until it's just you and him in a tattoo chair and you get to stab him with the tattoo uh, pen. And you can do that involved, when it, which ends up being quite safe and cinematic and kind of a story that they've designed, but still has its own challenges within it. Or you can put mission story guidance on minimal or off, and then you those things still are present in the level. It doesn't just guide you to them so specifically. So I, f I f and plus turning minimap off or on, uh, there's this helpful picture in picture when something happens, a little window pops up that shows you somebody getting knocked out or an explosive going off, all kinds of things that you're not there to see, you kind of see the results of. I feel like it is just, it's a good job of being very customizable in your approach to it. I love all the little outfits. I think that's my favorite. The little disguises, Lots of little outfits. Yeah. Okay. And like, yeah, he does a lot so, of a so lot of the like, jobs. Yeah, and he's so good at like pretending like he can be a tattoo artist. Yes. There's he's a, such an actor. There's an opportunity in the first game in Bangkok where you can take over for a drummer in this band, and you go record, and you just sit down at the drums, and you freaking rock out. Hitman you're is, good. You're, you're is just good at great drums. at drums. Yes. And I the, love that, like thinking that he's just good at everything. He's just a genius at everything. He's good at everything. The, I mean, he's good at everything, and he chose to do this with his life. Like he's like, I can do literally anything. I'm a good enough drummer to be a rock star. I'm a tattoo artist. Whatever. Yes. I want to kill people. I think I heard the developers explain it as he knows there's potential where he might have to play the drums on this upcoming job, so he learns how. You know, it's all preparation. He's not yeah, automatically going to be that easy. That's part of him being such a master assassin. Number I hope nine. He gets compensated well. Chocobos are playable. This one isn't totally what? true. I just wasn't what? sure if you would what? be. I thought I might be losing you at this point, so I wanted to kind of have an attention. Hold grabber. on a second. Hold on. So they're not playable. They're not playable. Why? I was. Missing. I was you, really you, worried ducks. you'd be bored right now. Redeem this. Redeem this. There's ducks, right? There's all sorts of ducks. <laughs> like, okay, cool. All right. But they explode, all right? I can right? Live with that. They're the exploding ducks? They are exploding ducks. Look at my duck mm. collection. Please, please let me win you back with my <laughs> duck collection. Okay, I don't know. This better be a pretty impressive duck collection. Oh, that Here's one's, my first oh, three. That one's got a hat on. Yes, that one's pretty cute, huh? We all like that? Yeah, that is pretty cute. I like his little tie. Yeah. I like him. Handsome. <laughs> oh. More ducks over here. Ooh. This one's a dying kind of a are devil duck. These ducks are kind of scary. I don't know. These ducks are a little 
That one's <laughs> scary happy. looking. But this one's cute. Still an explosive, yeah, but a little more of a little more of a stunner, a little more handsome. Mm -mm. And of course, the pale duck. The pale duck. Interesting. A classic duck. Okay, so I like your I like your bear statue too. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's a regular explosive. And number ten, handsome. Handsome. Speaking of yes. outfits, look at all of this. Look at and this. And there's drip. a duck outfit. There is a Immense duck themed outfit. Immense drip and pizzazz. Yes, there's a flamingo suit here. Wow, is that what? Oh. Unlockable for any level. I made some compromises aspect ratio wise to fit in as many yes. as possible. Uh, yes. Not really thinking about how I could just hop in and show all of my disguises. Wait, did I did I see tuxedo mask in there? Yes. From it was Sailor it was Moon. giving very much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Wow. What's your favorite outfit? My like favorite. Out of all the outfits. Wow. Which one's your? God, that's so many outfits. Thank you for oh that question. God. These outfits are hard to unlock too. This is a lot of playtime. Look at all these casual. Man, outfits. look at all this it's immense very smart casual. <laughs> mm -mm. Thank you. This is definitely up there. <laughs> this one with the sweater. That's one of my favorites. Oh, is that like a that guy is not outfit? A like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Their motorcycle outfit. Sightseeing. They're driving gloves. So perhaps it's wow. a convertible driving outfit. That's what I'm picturing. So if you showed this to any like casual Hitman player, they'd be like, oh my God, what an absolute smorgasbord of outfits. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to think fans would be impressed. I truly think there's like almost a hundred and I think there's three or four I don't have. What are the deluxe outfits? Those came with DLC. So those are a little more out there. You've got your freaky guy. Mm. Mm. You've got your hunting guy. This is a reference to Hitman 2 apparently. Uh, you got your uh, ninja guy here. Wow. The white shadow. Wait, is that a straight jacket? Yep. You got the your cuckoo outfit here, <laughs> with the with the uh, accompanying uh, straight jacket belt. God. Oh. Sorry. Ooh. So you can use it then? You can use That's this it. like a fiber wire. You can see there and choke people out with it. Mm. Oh. Per Perfect. This violin, just this, just thought of this while I looked at it. This violin, bringing a violin doesn't seem great, right? Mm. One non-lethal item. It turns out it's one of the best items for Hitman speedrunning. Period. Because Interesting. people do something called a particle skip. I guess I may as well just, just bring that I'm up. I'm just gonna hop in and show us some particle skips? That I can't do reliably. <laughs> Can Hitman, it's can a really cool sounding thing, whatever it yeah. is. A particle skip that's yeah. It's a very good like speedrunner word right there. Speedrunners do have some cool lingo for this. But the basic idea is you throw an object that destroys itself. Like we saw with the muffin when I threw it at that guy's head and it kept falling into pieces. Mm -hmm. You can, those particles have physics on them. So the idea is you break something that has physics and you step up on the particles to like get up on a ledge. I don't oh. know what's gonna happen in this video. Oh, okay. And so like the remnants on the ground you can step on. Right. And reach areas you're not supposed to be able to reach. Okay. Exactly. And the violin happens to have some of the biggest particles. So versus right, so the so muffin. It's not about, yeah, it's about the chunks. It's, it's about the chunk, the chunk size. Count. And you don't always okay. need the biggest ones. And that's why you bring the muffins. Yes, Kelsey, write that down. You, it's the <laughs> smaller particles get you up a shorter distance. So the violin, mm. you only get to do it once versus the three muffins, but bigger particles, bigger leap. Papa John's. Got it. Mm -mm. In incredible. Thank you. I'm really waiting for Atrioc to step on the muffin here. Step on the muffin. There we go. So the idea is this strat, this specific strat is using the muffin to get up one inch to do a sniper shot. Across so the map that you can do. standing on a muffin. Yes. Wait, so muffins are all... Okay, so these are unusual muffins. Because if I stand on a muffin, I'm just going to crush the muffin. And it's going to be like a little pancake. And it won't it won't give me any additional height. Yeah. But these I mean, muffins are... I, like, these are at bare minimum stale blueberry muffins. Can we, <laughs> can we agree to that? Or Incredibly it's... Stale. Honestly, you're bringing them yourself most of the time. We're, we can just make some assumptions about how a 47 bakes his muffins. 
Oh, you know, he's maybe just a really terrible muffin cook. Yeah. Very fiber rich, at the very <laughs> least. Uh, and most importantly, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for learning. Uh, Incredible. any questions? Any questions? How do I get started? <laughs> Great question, Kelsey. Don't start. Wait until the 26th. <laughs> Because that's when it all comes out as one package. Right now, they're all available for individual sale. But you want to get them all in one thing. If you don't already own any of them, get them all in one thing on the 26th when Freelancer drops. Which I haven't even talked about. That wasn't even in here. But Freelancer yeah, what, is going to be sweet. I, what's Freelancer? Freelancer is a, a roguelike mode that's being added. Wow. Let's pull up so a little gameplay. They're play. adding new modes? <laughs> they're adding... They're what? easily their biggest mode they've ever added here uh, two years after Hitman 3's release. Incredible. And the catch with it, the draw of it is it's randomly generating content uh, based in all of the game's levels. And that's why it's so great they're putting it all in one package. So nobody's like, oh, you can only generate content out of these six levels or whatever. Everybody's going to have the full 21 destinations available to them. Which I think is fantastic. And between Such missions... incredible value. Oh, incredible the value. value. Oh my god, don't get me started on the value. <laughs> this is the safe house you're coming back to between missions to upgrade. Oh, that's cute that he cleans it. Yes, whenever you come back, he he's doing something own... different and cute. That's so cute. I, Aww. Yes, I really like those animations. You're customizing your little garage here with the with the cars. You're unlocking these new cars. all the cars that you unlock? Yes. It starts out empty and then you get the car and the motorcycle and stuff and you can take any of them to your chosen, to the mission. You can ride the motorcycle there, ride the car there. Obviously you're just going to the airport for most of them, but, but still. Wow. But I was really surprised how much I liked the safe house because you're starting out with no gear and you're collecting guns, filling out your weapon rack in Freelancer. But you're also getting things like, oh, level eight, I've unlocked the kitchen of my house. Oh, New rooms my are unlocked. God, it's a home decorating? It is a home yeah, decorating. Yeah, wait, Paul, let was me he, write that down changing, and circle that. <laughs> was, he, was he changing That's like the best the thing color? you've said this entire time. Yes, he was changing the color of that shed. Absolutely. Incredible. And there are little perks for the rooms you're getting. Like when you get the kitchen, now before a mission, oh, I have this objective to make somebody slip. Let me run to the kitchen and grab a banana from the fruit bowl and bring it with me. Incredible. All it's kitchens like murder come with bananas. They've, wow. yes, and they're self-replenishing. And there's this Incredible. little knife being thrown into the target over here by the shed. So I'm, it's like fully immersive. Like you get to live... You know, you get to live a little life, and you get to go out and commit murders. Yes. So much of Hitman took place in your mind, I feel like. Something I really love about it is the starting locations you unlock as you keep playing it. Just different points on the map, but of course, more usefully, you get to start in the mascot disguise, entertaining the crowd, deep in the race already. <laughs> Or as a race marshal in the overpass observing the race. And obviously the, you just start with a disguise that lets you in restricted areas. of As you unlock further and further, like more deeper restricted areas. And I always really loved that for just this, this like little story happening in your mind of like 47 getting this job as a waiter. Mm -hmm. In advance of this, of this job and now you're joining him just like 10 minutes before it's finally going down. There's like really an yeah, interesting would, story building to, there. I would love to do like, just do my little job for a bit, you know? Like if there was a part yeah. where I actually just kind of like clicked on stuff and pretended to be a bartender. And yes. then I would never- Let me do Diner Dash for a little bit. Oh my yeah, like gosh. I just want, sometimes I just want to work <laughs> as um, event crew podium, you know? Sometimes I just want to work as a mascot. I'm with you. I want that so bad. I just want to do a little task and then maybe commit a murder. I am thinking about like how he got the job as a mascot. Like I feel like you'd have to show up to that interview like 
you know, being really kind of extroverted and energetic <laughs> yeah, and like projecting right. mascot energy. And Ooh. this guy doesn't really project mascot energy to me. So I'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be good. I'll show you the one job you can do most. I wish you could do more jobs. Mostly it's just like you can walk into a spot and go press a button to blend in and you'll be like wiping a table as a waiter or using a computer as a lab technician and things like that. Uh, but I have to imagine his like Google calendar is just constantly full. Like job interview, <laughs> job, another job. And I might not even get that job. job so need backup job <laughs> interviews for other places the target's going. Yes, but the, there is one thing you can do, which is serve drinks to people in in a pretty gamified way. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to show real quick here. But you're so speaking my language about being able to do the is. job. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I Whenever I'm playing and I start in a like a service staff position, I totally spend an extra few seconds just chilling there doing my job. I feel like I would forget that I was supposed to be an assassin. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd be like, well, who else is going to clean this floor? Yes, you, you should know? watch my, I, uh... If I don't serve here, the drinks, yeah. who will? My old MinMax video essay, uh, Life as a Barber and Hitman 2. <laughs> I, I lost myself on the role quite similarly. But here's what's fantastic, is if there's somebody who's going to notice you, an enforcer, somebody with a white dot over their head, you also get the benefit of when you blend in, they don't notice you. So wow. when you're on the run, it's actually useful to like quick really do your says job. A lot about how society overlooks those in service positions. Yes, one hundred percent. Now you're now you're I like getting that you it. You only clean that. You only clean that one spot. It's just incredibly clean. I'm going on my break. <laughs> this is Berlin, a thumping mm. German nightclub. One of my favorite levels, which I will say. Which about I would level. never go to, but I can go to in Hitman. Exactly. Let's see. Are you see. about to commit some acts of vandalism? Yes, I do need to sneak in here. And I wonder if I can climb up and over. Let's try that first before I have to kill these people or knock them out. I appreciate your commitment to nonviolence as an assassin. <laughs> Thank you so much. I yeah, mean, I wasn't I wasn't so good at that part. Yeah, and that's a fully acceptable way to play. This is not going to be easier, but it will be a fun little risk to take. Uh, that's something th I think might surprise people about this game is how much it de-emphasizes killing, actually. It's like you're supposed to kill one to two people who are horrific human beings, and you get a long cutscene mm -hmm. about why they deserve to die, the atrocities they're committing, how horrifically wealthy they are, and what mm -hmm. they're doing with it. Uh, and then if you kill somebody who's just hanging out you're getting punished for that and a perfect Shame. run involves not killing innocent people and as i once described this game to a horrified relative as you it's like every game where you kill people except you kill fewer people and you think about it way more mm. so it's a lot more like life you know don't just... kill in killing innocent people bad <laughs> it's a lot more like life if you had to kill people huh. mm. Well, that was exciting. That is a good way to remember it. So let's see. I want to lure one of them over here because they're the bartenders. I don't think I can fully bartend. What? Oh, you don't have the pink shirt? No, I'm just a cleaner. Aww. Are you going to take their shirt? Yes, I am. But first, I'm distracting that guy to make sure they don't see it with a little pistol shot. One little bullet impact from a quiet gun. Now he's going to just be like, was that hole always there? Right. Uh, oh no. Problem is, that's a girl, and I and 47 can't wear women's clothes. That's truly... Oh, no. That looks like, oh, that that's, looks like a unisex. That's, that's a unisex. Man. I know. I know. That's... I have to be honest. That's not. Mm. That's not a great feature. Oh, Imagine Agent that. 47 in a crop top. <laughs> yes. I he think he could pull it off. Like, he would he's absolutely a very stylish man. <laughs> okay, so I screwed that up. Everything's getting noticed. <laughs> We're in big They're trouble. Like, yeah, somebody's knocked this bartender out with a wrench, and then you're like, better go pick up a mop. 
Anyways, back to my mop for a bit. You never suspect the mop guy. No. Listen. Okay, well, how's this for another little uh, job I can do? There's this pizza delivery guy here. Can you deliver his pizza? Well, that was really fast that changing of clothes. Yep. Yeah. That's 47. Oh, you for didn't you. even give him your clothes? You just left <laughs> him naked? That would be He's nice. Cold. <laughs> so now, I'm here to deliver the pizza. Oh my God. But Please. first. Hungry? Yeah, this, we're Leo. in Germany. That's not even a pizza. What, would that, is that like sausage? Yeah, it's more postmates y, I guess. We're in Germany. This is That's how they true. do pizza. Excuse me, sir. Your sausage is here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of a job you're doing. I like that you, it lets you know that you like you sedated it by like the smoke that comes off it. Yeah, it's stinky blue. Blue is sedative stink. I would definitely eat a smoking blue pizza. <laughs> that would that would get me. That would yeah. Ooh, still warm. Totally fool me. <laughs> Yummy. I like how the scooter was sitting there and the pizza guy was like nowhere near it. And then you just had to come back and ring the doorbell to yeah. get them to come get their food. His uh, phone call, I think, explains that, if we had listened to that. Mm. But I forget what it is exactly. The phone call the real delivery driver's having. Ah, oh, this poor man just wants to eat a delicious meal. With his I buddies. mean, he did just say, like, get lost, you're not getting a tip, so I feel like... So he's a bad person and we can kill him He's now. a bad person. That's the rules of the also, game. Also, he, his... he left his door open. I don't really Got know it. why he left his door open and, like, just let you walk in. That's a pretty big oversight from this man, yes. <laughs> now, who ordered the food is the question. Oh, it's one of our targets. Oh, this level is unique for having perfect. 11 targets, and you can kill any five of them, which makes it really replayable. So you can poison that food and get that kill immediately. Like, I don't have to follow him and watch this, you know? This will just happen. I can mm -hmm. ring the doorbell and be done at that You're point. Like, I'm sure that man crouching behind the pool table hasn't done anything to the food. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's man, fast acting. <laughs> yes, it is. After that one bite of food that he was leaving after having. Do you think... Do you think... Come on, like, if someone ate... I guess you wouldn't eat the food after he took a bite of it and passed out. <laughs> Probably not. But there are a lot of french fries in there that are now going to waste. That's a good point. So I'm gonna start as one of the pink shirt guys, which I didn't want to do because I wasn't sure if you could serve drinks from here, but we're gonna find out. Otherwise I can just run to that part and then serve drinks. Uh, any other any Hitman questions? Things that interested you from the presentation? Mm. It just feels like a never ending, a never ending game of joy. <laughs> it's just, it's just never-ending. There's always new stuff to do, new outfits, unlimited, unlimited fun. You could play only this game for sort of forever, it feels like. Mm -hmm. if, that's, if that's your takeaway, then I've done my job, because that's exactly how I feel about it. <laughs> how come no one wants the, that drink you drunk? I uh, just pressed the button to serve it to them. I, I, you can pick out people from the crowd Much and say, come get a drink of this. <laughs> and now I happen to give this guy- Is that how work in Germany? They get all order fishing. drinks, they just <laughs> decide to bless you with a drink. <laughs> oh, sir, if you're gonna be sick, could you please leave the butt? Thank you. <laughs> wow, that guy was weird, huh? Anyway, would you like yeah, a drink? Yeah, that was really strange. Wait, Wait anyone that, else want a drink? Did he say poison cup of water? You're not even giving him, like, it's alcohol. It's not even <laughs> No, for some reason you serve water here. <laughs> That's so depressing. Which makes more sense, you know? Come on, drink up. Hydrate. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to remind people of. I love the little cup of pretzel sticks. You know? Excuse me. You should try this. Really oh, that such, is cute. Such a, yeah, such a storytelling. Same... Just from the objects. It's the same cup over and over again. Mm -hmm. Aren't people worried about germs? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's... there are other things like the poison in the cup that they should be worried about. But they're also not worried about that. I also like that it's only one cup at a time. Like you can't just put out a bunch. Yeah, no shots. You, know, you have to like one at a time, like you, hydrate. 
See, he seems... Can you get everyone in this bar this way? Like, can you just keep serving everybody poison and no one's like, <laughs> how come half the people in this bar are Technically, gone? he's been serving them water because he's concerned about their hydration levels. <laughs> You are limited in uh, how much poison you can bring. That would be the only thing stopping you. What the? Oh. So then you're just making sure everyone stays hydrated. Right. Like, do they tip you? I guess they don't yeah, tip. Thanks. No, that's a great idea, though. They really should, because they could give you a little coin. And the coins are, of course, items that you can throw to distract people. In fact, there are at, is at least one level. Oh, weird. There is at oh, least one level. What's going on here? Where you, uh, the coins are an actual economy. Like you can pay five coins for an item in the market, or pay three oh. coins of the taxi to have like an exclusive exit to take a taxi out of the level. There's a lot of level spe specific details like that. Level specific systems. And since I'm blending in here, nothing to see here. I shouldn't get in trouble. No one's gonna be like, sir, do you know anything about this collapsed person in front of your bar? It's over. They got away. Now I tried to serve this guy water too. Let's see if I can get some. Say what? Yeah. Thanks so much. The pleasure is all mine. He said thanks so much, and I said the pleasure is all mine. Cause that's 47 getting a little into the into the role. <laughs> I like to think that he enjoys like the little jobs that he gets to try out. Yeah. I certainly would. Wow. Well, that's... Well, that's it, man. What a journey. What a journey. Thank, Thank you, you Easy that. Allies, Thank for the raid. Me. Welcome. Uh, the presentation's complete. We just had a really... Uh, I'd describe it as robust PowerPoint mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on uh, why you should play the Hitman, the new Hitman trilogy. And so everybody, including Easy Allies, can catch that on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash minmax. Uh, tomorrow, that'll be up. And I'm just Incredibly gonna quick double persuasive. check that it's Min Max and not Min Max show because sometimes Min Max, sometimes Min Max show, and I'm never 100 percent confident. It's Min Max. <laughs> youtubecom slash Min Max. Here's what it looks like. Perfect. Uh, so you may as well go there and subscribe because you've already seen it. You're already looking at it. You may as well subscribe. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope the show continues. Of uh, last week, Sarah here pitched Final Fantasy 14 to Jeff Mark Iafava, mm -hmm. and that's also worth a watch for sure. And I would love to see everybody at this damn outlet pitch one of their favorite games. It was really fun making that PowerPoint. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun because I think we get to like talk about the games a little more in depth, or we get to hear about why like other like people like why because this is like a personal top ten, you know? Yeah, and so. and it's a a classic case of like nobody wants to talk too much and mm -hmm. overstay their welcome on a on a something that they feel specific to them. But this is like. That's the point of it. So you better talk about it the entire time. And that's a little fun and free. An outstanding presentation. Yes. I would go to these classes every time. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Sign me up. All right. We're going to raid Jenna. Jenna Steber, right? Oh, that's yeah. The pronunciation? Yeah, there we go. Thanks everybody, Hi, everybody for watching. This has been a blast. Appreciate you in chat. Hitman the Freelancer is coming out January 26th. I'm That's when the games all come to one that. package. Me too. I hope a lot of people play it. I hope so too. It's a good chance to get people That's get people into the game. Yeah. All right, bye everybody. This video is just the tip of the iceberg for MinMax. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us a lot. Or you can head over to patreon.com, support us at any tier, and you unlock access to our lovely Discord. It's a place to talk about games or find folks to play games with. That's also where you can compete in Trivia Tower, our monthly video game trivia competition where you can win free game codes. Head on over to Patreon, jump in our Discord. We'd love to see you there.